Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make individual tiramisu. I've got a stove top little coffee brewer and I'm going to add water three quarters of the way. I've put the second part on top and I'm going to start adding in my ground coffee beans. Right up to the top and close that off. Put my heat on medium to high and just let that come to a boil. My coffee is brewed right up to the top. I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to pour my coffee into my container. And because it is so strong, you will need to dilute it with some water. I'm adding about half a cup worth of water in here. Add in your sugar. And this is to taste, so I can give you a recipe, but at the end of the day, you'll need to be the one that's taste testing it and making sure that it's to your standards. I'm going to taste test it. That is extremely strong. I'm going to add another quarter of a cup or so of water. And I'm going to add about two tablespoons worth of marsala. You don't have to put marsala, you could always just um, use vanilla extract in place of alcohol. We're adding a little bit more sugar. I'll have the recipe in the description box below of exactly how much of what I've put. I've been keeping a tally. I'm going with a clean teaspoon and taste that again. I'm pretty happy with that. Next step, we'll make our cream and mascarpone mixture. So I'm adding in my whipped cream, my whipping cream, along with my mascarpone cheese, some sugar, and if you like, even a dash of vanilla. Once it's started to come together, you can go ahead and add your liquor. I'm adding a little bit of gramanier. And you want to make sure your mixture is thick enough that it holds its shape. So that's a pretty good indication there. I'm going to measure out some dark chocolate. This will be for our ganache. Give it a mix so that all your chocolate is perfectly covered in that cream. And then melt it in the microwave in two 30 second bursts. To begin assembling, I've got my food safe gloves on. I'm going to cut my sobria de biscuits just to fit inside the cup. I'm going to dunk it into my coffee that I prepared yesterday. Now I'm leaving it down under the coffee completely submerged for four seconds. Pipe a little bit of cream at the bottom of your cup. Add your sobria de and fill in the spaces on either side of that as well. So count to four. Then I'll go in with my cream again, cover up my cookies. And then I'll drizzle a layer of chocolate ganache over the top. That makes all the difference. And then just repeat the steps. So into the coffee, one, two, three, four. Let it drain a little. And press it into the ganache. I'm going to cut that in half so that it fits on either side. Next, go in with your cream. Your ganache. Then again with your cookies and I'm going to press it down so that it's below the rim of the cup because now I'm going to add in our last layer of cream and using the spatula I'm just going to level that off. like that.
gonna start making some buttercream for my buttercream roses that are going on top. I'm gonna soften out my butter to begin. And then gradually add in my sugar. I've got some red buttercream that I put into a disposable bag fitted with a 102 tip. So I'm going to put a little dollop onto the centre. And keeping your tip clean, I'm going to use the skinny side facing upwards and just twirl my flower nail. I work on top, angling it slightly, and do another turn. And then I'm going to start forming my petals in arches and rotating my flower nail as I go. And just start a layer underneath that. Still relatively straight up. And then as you get to the bottom, you can start flaring them out. Transfer your roses onto a baking tray and just put it into the freezer for about 15 minutes. To make a small leaf tip without actually using a nozzle, I take a piping bag and I cut it long ways, just like that at the tip. That creates a leaf tip. And then to decorate, I have my little happy birthday sentiment. And I'm just going to put it in the corner, making sure it's standing upright. And press it down, but not too far down. I'll grab my rose, it's been sitting in the fridge for a good half the day. It did go out recently. Um, and then just press that in. And using the leaf tip that we made before, just add a couple of leaves around the rose. Maybe one other small one here. Just like that. And continue with the rest. If you wanted to, you could always Cut off some extra wafer paper here, that way when you stick it in, that's a lot more elevated. Choose your front, this side. Press her on. Again, take your bag of leaf tip and just break that off. If it starts to get a bit hard, I just work it with my fingers and the warmth from your hands will help. To soften that out. Another quick tip to help keep your wafer paper elevated, you could also use a little bit of frosting just in the back here anchoring it up. Thank you for tuning in guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you really soon.